All right, guys, X Defiant finally dropped their launch trailer. I know I'm fucking late. When you guys seen this video, the game's coming out in two days already. This trailer dropped two days ago on the 16th. I didn't get a chance to record a video after work, so I've been dodging this video on Twitter, on YouTube, so I could react to it and talk about it in a video. So let's jump into this. Let's check out this trailer. I know I gotta be more punctual with this shit. I'm sorry, I'm getting back to the YouTube grind, man. I gotta get back into swinging things, okay? I'm crashing, I got ADHD. Story for another time. Let's get into this. All right, let's rewind this shit a little bit. Okay, okay. Activating sonar. Yo, I really like in X Defiant how it's kind of like there's no like real lore. Uh, as far as i know it's just they're kind of just bringing all the ubisoft ips together i think that's pretty dope like we got splinter cell in here watchdogs rp i heard they're discontinuing watchdogs it's fucked up man i only played the first one i only played the first one it's one of my favorite video games of all time of in the modern era of gaming i would say i never played the other ones but sad to see bro Far Cry. I think I only played one Far Cry game in my time. I think it was three. That's probably Division, right? Okay, got some gameplay. I think that this one right here, or this faction or operator, whatever you want to call it, was probably my favorite in the playtest. The cloaking and shit, the cloaking or the one shot pistol it reminded me of the the Seraph in uh, Black Ops Three. Target spot. Flash bang out. Look up. Bro, I can't wait to play this, man. I cannot wait to grind this game, bro. One thing I want to say, one thing I want to say about like specialists and shit. One thing with me is like I never, I like the, I don't mind the specialists and abilities in X Defiant, but in general, I do not like abilities in my FPS games. Like X Defiant, there, I feel like it's like the perfect amount where they're not annoying. But like I hated the Black Ops Three specialists. They got old for me very fast. I didn't like it in Infinite Warfare. Um, in general, I just don't like abilities and shit. That's why I never touched Overwatch. When Valorant first got announced, I was so excited to play because I felt like oh, it's like a new CS type shit. And I'm be honest, I barely touched Valorant since it ever first dropped because honestly the abilities thing i'm like i just i don't know am, am i just fucking old bro oh that's why i always prefer cs and shit so i'm so glad they did away with abilities in cod though because i just did not like it but in x defy they don't piss me off they're actually well i guess balanced you could say but i don't they don't really bother me too much sorry i know i went off complete off tangent there not about it's fine okay play x defy reload now i already preloaded did that so first thoughts on the trailer it was really nothing nothing too crazy uh to be honest the trailer wasn't really gonna hype me up any more than i already am i'm more excited the game's just coming out in a few days in a couple days right now it's made like kind of cinematic and then there was some gameplay at the end or over here too and type shit but nothing nothing too crazy just you know just some straight up launch trailer i don't have too much to say about the trailer to be honest did you guys preload already it also though did drop a debrief i went ahead and watched that i saved the trailer to react to on um for a video but actually let's check out some comments to see Man, they'll put Splinter Cell content into anything but the Splinter Cell game. That's not right, gang. I survived the X delay of 2023, waiting for the Ezio skin to release so I could run around with M4, pretend like I'm. A... Yo, I'm low key. I was thinking about that today, actually. Like, are they gonna add like Assassin's Creed? I think we're gonna get like a new faction every season or some shit. Are we gonna get like Assassin's Creed content or Assassins like faction? That'd be kind of fire. Uh, no SBMM, fun maps, great game design, classic arcade shooter mechanics. We're so back, boys. Oh, yes, we are. And to Cillo. Ubisoft should just make trailers and not the games. What kind of hater ass motherfucker? I'm not reading that. Um, we're finally here. Peace Cod used to be great. You didn't you didn't want to rehabilitate yourself, and I can't keep going as a abusive relationship. Yeah. Yo, being a COD fan, low key is like it, it does feel like you're in some abusive relationship that you just can't get away from or some toxic shit. And you just keep staying for some reason, right? And everybody telling you to leave, everybody, yet you still just keep coming back. We keep buying the games. It's like a love hate, man. I still love Call of Duty, man. And honestly too, like XFI is not gonna be a COD killer by any means. I feel like that's kind of stupid to think. COD is just way too big of a franchise. I think it's good competition. It could be very good competition, but I don't think it's gonna end up um, killing COD. <laughs> it's definitely not COD killer. And I also don't think, I think you could also play both games. like. I'll probably still play. I'm probably not going to play NW3 too much, to be honest with you anymore. 
but I will end up buying Black Ops 6, 5, whatever hell we're gonna call it, go for. I'll probably end up buying too, but I really do wanna just, you know, focus on Exafine. It feels like something fresh for me, you know? I haven't liked COD recently. That's also why I've been so stuck content wise for the past couple of years, cause like I just, like I didn't, I have no idea what, the, what game to talk about with the play. Like I, didn't, I haven't liked anything that really has been out. Except Power World, but, but that's not even FPS. I wanted an FPS that I could grind. COD was just like, ugh. Man. Anyway, they dropped the debrief as well. Let's check that out. Um, I already watched it, but I'll pull out some highlights that stuff we could talk about real quick. Get my thoughts on. So Mark Rubin talked about skill-based matchmaking. I know we're tired of this topic. I, I know everybody who watches COD or plays COD or watches or they're tired of it. It's not, it, whatever. Whatever your opinion is, let's talk about this right here. Speaking of, of what makes a good first-person shooter, I know you've made some very specific decisions with X Defiant. Uh, one of them being no skill-based matchmaking. W. Now, for folks who, who might not be familiar, what exactly is skill-based matchmaking, and why did you decide that it wasn't right for us? Listen, chat. Okay, so I know, I know we all know what skill-based matchmaking is. <laughs> oftenly as FDMMM. Basically, where the game decides that you have a certain skill level uh, after it kind of watches you play for a, for a few matches, and then matches you up with people who are equivalent on your skill level. Now, uh, in the olden days... Which, honestly... That doesn't seem like on paper. That doesn't always seem that bad, cause it's like in theory, that's like that's fine. Like why, why you're playing on people's uh, similar skill level? That shouldn't be a problem. But it's just the way it works, man. It don't play out the way it sounds on paper. That's all uh, I'm saying. It was pretty light, um, and didn't really intrude too much into the game. It and Mark has... Rubin used to work for Infinity Ward. I was mixing up with someone else for someone in Treyarch, I think, like years ago. I, for some reason, I always when I saw his face again. I I realized it was a whole different person. But anyway, but he used to work for Cod. So COD doesn't even like to be that transparent. They were only recently transparent about skill-based matchmaking, uh, matchmaking, like not too long ago. What was it earlier this year or something like that? Or last year? They kind of talked about it a little bit. How they found based on their data or whatever, it's more retention-based. But it's like, this is one point where they barely were even talking about it. They almost like didn't acknowledge that it was a thing. So the fact that, you know, he's an ex-COD developer for Infinity Ward, it says a lot. Like, they know what the hell they were doing. That's become something that is more what they call actually engagement-based matchmaking now. Bro, everything about engagement, man. Engagement farming. Don't really care what the E bro stink. I don't really care what they need. I got them out here acting childish. My mama hope for an engagement. But I've been focused on engagement. This entertainment can't entertain that shit. I hate doing karaoke, but I love doing festivals. Like G. Sorry, let's get back into this. Uh, where it sort of is like an AI that's monitoring your behavior and going, okay, this person's getting beaten too many times. And we think they might quit, so we're going to make it game easier for them. And then Bro, that's uh, that is honestly that's so fucking annoying too. You be playing COD and being getting sweaty after sweaty lobbies and just getting shit on. And then you get an easy lobby after that, and you're like, okay, maybe I keep playing. It just becomes like exhausting too. But it's like a loop. Like they keep trying to reel you back in. It's like it's fucking. I just don't like it. It's not even fun. It's like feeding an addiction. Then you'll get a game where you win, and then it'll bring you back to the. That's like so. You were that's for. so like. And, then, uh, and the thing with all that, besides the whole sort of morality of it, is that I think it creates a stale experience, right? Like you keep playing against the same exact people, not the same exact people specifically, but the same exact type of player. You lose out on all the fun variety that I think a lot of the old school shooters had. That's like a big thing, bro. Multiplayer feels so boring and stale to me. Now, I wonder why Warzone became like the big thing because it's like. Multiplayer just is stale as fuck. And it's true, like, I used to, like, I don't know, he's probably gonna say this, like I said, I watched this already, but I think he says... ...to a match, and you can you can see a guy in there who's just wrecking, right? And he is just absolutely destroying, and you're kind of having fun with it because he's just so good, or she, and, and then you get into another game where you're the person who's wrecking, right? This right here, this to me was, like, so fun back in the day. You get into a lobby, right, or you start the game, whatever it is, and this guy on the other team is shitting on you, like, like it's always him killing you he's getting all the streaks and everything you're like what the fuck i gotta kill him you know what i'm saying i'm going after him I'm talking from just a straight up like casual competitive i mean non-competitive standpoint like when i first got into cod it wasn't because of competitive it just was kind of like a fun thing like man i want to kill that guy i want to go after that guy or even sometimes you get like this bum ass ca camper in a corner or this guy running around with a knife but you still have this type of shit 
I guess. But it's just not as like fun now. I, there's no like variety. Like everybody's just either sweating their asses off or getting molly wop. I feel like if you're good at the game, you bitch about skill cage matchmaking. And if you're not that good, or maybe just an average player or barely play, you don't either just don't notice it or you're probably not that good at the game. And it's not really just about pub stomping. Like, you can't even gauge your skill level. You don't even know where you're at if everybody's always playing on your, your even playing ground. You can't even gauge where you're at as a player, I feel like. Or how good you are at the game if everybody's like the same you can't what do you what are you comparing yourself to i don't know how to properly like articulate my thoughts when it comes to skill page mac uh matchmaking but it just it just makes it like like mark rubin said it just like, makes the game scale man uh that variety is really what i think is missing in a lot of some of the modern uh, arcade shooters and i think it's something that we really feel is important but i know every time he says modern arcade shooters or arena shooter or whatever he's just really just talking about cod because there's really no other arena arcade shooter right now there's halo but i mean like so shit that's popping that people are actually playing it's just cod i feel like every time he says that it's cod he's just talking about cod your philosophy with x defiant uh through this whole pre-launch phase seems to be let's get it in the hands of players let's listen to players can we just like clap it up we gotta clap it up for the whole development staff for X Defiant for listening to community and Mark Rubin just being on Twitter and I'm not really an official X Defiant Discord, but apparently he's he, he's been in the Discord interacting with just everybody, not just pros and creators and shit, but just even just people on Twitter talking about the game, listening to feedback, taking it seriously. I know people think this game is dead on arrival. I really think this particular shit right here, and apparently this debrief shit is gonna be episodic so they're gonna do multiple of these i don't do that shit cdl kind of does one like twice a year or whatever it is but the fact that they're listening community and then x defiant community competitive or casual are gonna be like cod players like x cod players or a lot of the player base is gonna come from people who are fans of call of duty or just need something fresh who like call of duty but they don't really like anything out right now so i think the fact that they're listening so much to just the community about shit is so it's gonna go such a long way i think that's gonna be what keeps the game alive obviously besides content and stuff like that we already have a, most of our content done for the first year we're already working into our second year they said they have most of their content done for the first year of the game give them their flowers man Ooh. And they're working on year two. I really think there's just gonna be like so much passion when it comes to this game and the developer end, like they give a fuck, they care. And that goes such a long way, man. Things like a new faction every season. A new faction every season is gonna be dope. Change up the meta of gameplay. I love how um, our maps, you know, keeping the game fresh, keeping you excited about, oh, there's a new place to play the, the, the game in a new and this is why... surprising location. That's something that will really keep this game going for a long period of time that's what i think too bro it's like loki kind of crazy on pause right here um but no like i feel like this game don't need a br everybody's saying like the game needs a br and all that shit i think this game is going to succeed for the fact that it doesn't have a br and that they're so attentive to the community and they're listening and they're trying to keep the game fresh there's a, like a lot of passion involved in this title i don't think it needs a br i think that's this philosophy that he's talking about right here we gotta get off the screen i'm sorry i imagine so, it's been a long road to get here what does this moment mean to you this is a special moment to be able to to come together and create a brand new ip a brand new shooter uh that has so far the amount of attention that this one has had for me personally yeah being here today and, and this and this moment uh is just uh is a, is a huge huge uh, achievement for myself for the team um, and emotionally uh, just super exciting and I can't wait to uh, enjoy this moment. W Mark Rumen, man. Look how many maps they're having on launch and I know I'm talking over them. There's not a single map that I really just don't like. They were all like pretty solid. Look at the colors. <laughs> like the colors of all these maps. There's darker ass maps here and it's still like you can see everything and they're colorful. I came back into the Call of Duty scene during Vanguard. I could not stand Vanguard's whole color scheme bro like it's bad enough being world war ii there was no color it was depressing i didn't like i couldn't see anything bro i was never excited to play vanguard having good maps are almost like a make and break uh, or make a break of a game of fps there's a nice flow to all the maps too even with this map guys this this map is like on the darker side like but you can still see everything i don't have like like red outlines here and shit like that but like you can see your you could differentiate who your teammate is uh, who the enemies are the enemy health bars everything is the visibility is like great there's not a map that i'm like oh man gotta play this map again like I, I there was none of those i'm sure there'll be maps i'll definitely like end up 
not liking quite as much. And COD, there's like a couple of those, or not more than a couple, a handful of those where I just, no, I don't even want to play it. If I see it pop up in like the map vote, I'm leaving the fucking lobby. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like this. I like how they talk to the, the ex-COD pros. I'm not going to go through all these to be honest with you, but ha, uh, the GOAT, my boy Aches. Why the goat's talking? Um, sorry, I love Aix. I don't. I know people hate on Aix in the COD community, bro, but I'm sorry. He's he's, he's my favorite. One of my favorite parts of the flank too. And mind you, I I've, I've been a fan of competitive Call of Duty since like Ghost when Aix was still competing and stuff. And he was like already the villain in the community. I liked him then, bro. As an optic fan, huge optic fan to this day. I, I love Aix, man. I don't give a fuck. He's a troll. Some people get so triggered and it's hilarious. Can we talk about the hold on, real quick? This, this is really the only part I want to touch upon in this debrief about the pros and shit. And it's not even about the pros in general. It's just about the loadout. Bro, COD has or NW3 has too many fucking attachments. Can we just like applaud X Defiant for simplifying the shit out of loadouts? I get so mad. When I scroll on like on a W3 looking for an attachment, and you scroll to the end, because there's so many damn things, right? So many damn attachments. And then you scroll and the whole thing scrolls back to the front because you went too far. It's just too much, bro. I have like this, the fucking, um, the Warzone loadout app on my phone. So every time there's an update, I don't even watch a video anymore. I just go on there and look out for a, look for a loadout or see what's, what's meta, whatever the hell is. Just for like Warzone if I want to play. I'm so glad we're just back to this very simplified, like look at these attachments. There's not even a lot of options in each one and they're clear. There's not a lot. It's, it's simple shit. It's simple COD shit, bro that Kyle used to do back in the day. I, I think it's supposed to appeal to casuals or something with all the attachments, but I feel like that shit makes it more difficult by putting all those damn attachments. Nobody wants that shit. It's so conf it's so intimidating. You're like, I don't know what to use. I just want to get on and shoot my gun, bro. It makes you not even want to really experiment with guns, right? And then when I added weapon tuning in Kyle, I'm like, dude, I don't know. I don't know, I'm yapping, I'm sorry. Lace field. Yo, I really hope we see these guys back. I hope that X Defiant Esports really goes off and pops off because I want to see, I want to see some of these, um, these ex cod pros like compete again that'd be so lit spacely bro i love spacely i miss spacely bro i'm curious too if any cd cdl or maybe not cdl but like challengers players maybe even some cdl players but i wonder who switches i wonder if anybody's actually gonna switch over to x defiant from cod but also you need to maintain and not add too much complexity in terms of adding three four see what he did there no pun intended I feel like he 100% did not purpose. Complexity? I feel like he did not purpose. I see what he did there, Aix. I see you. Sensor. I know Sensor's doing his, his pull-up challenge right now, a world record, whatever. Clap it up for Doug. I love Doug too, man. I love a lot of these cop bros, man. To me, like, that's my, like, childhood or my, like, high school years. I was just, like, watching them. So it's, it's, I don't know. So I love all these guys. But I would love to see, like, Sensor even try to compete. Enable. I hope Enable com competes too. What Enable doing right now? I know he's streaming, but... I love the movement in this game too. The last play test, I didn't get to play as much as I wanted to, right? So I, it didn't really stand out to me too much, but like you can really get active and move in this game. I heard they moved, they removed some of the, the movement penalties in the last play test, maybe. I could be wrong about that, but I feel like got something like slide canceling or some shit, or I don't know. But I really do like the movement. Fire. Love good movement. They can't handle the strafe, gang. True go right here, gang. I hope Krim plays some of this on stream and shit. I, I, I used to love Krim's um, stream, especially after he uh, retired. I know he's doing a sim racing thing right now, but again, flowers. Give Krim some flowers for that too. Competing in a whole other esport. Actually, wait, he's not doing sim racing. Is he actually like racing the actual cars now? Is he doing that shit? Or am I faded? Maybe I'm faded. I don't know. Sorry, I'm yapping. Is like a really effective method. Oh, this is a good thing I want to talk about too, was crouching. How do you guys feel about no proning in the game? I, at first I was like, eh, when I first played next to fine, I was like, eh. But then like, after a while, I'm like, that shit's so fucking annoying in COD. <laughs> like, and I drop shot too with festival. It moves a lot of like issues like snaking or inconsistencies in the game. Like, I don't know, it just makes the game less annoying. But let me know how you feel about it. I, I don't mind it. I don't mind that we can't prone in this game. It is just crouching. I'm like, I fuck with that. All right, guys. W debrief, W launch trailer. I, I just can't wait to play the game. And just let me know what are you guys most excited for X Defiant? Preload the game already. How do you feel about the maps? How do you feel about the mechanics? Where, like, where's your head at with the game so far? Who's hyped for X Defiant, man? Also, I just want to say thank you to everybody or anyone who tuned into my last video. And if you didn't go check it out, like, it's my first long form video back, right? And I didn't expect to get that many views. Now, in the grand scheme of things, it's almost only close to like 800 views. But on a long form video, I don't know. For me, I needed to see that. I needed to see people, like, people were commenting, like, in a video, seeing people interacting with it. And I appreciate all you guys. I 
I was so excited to make this video, right? Still procrastinated, but I was excited to make video. I'm excited to make content again. I just want to thank anybody who watched that video, my first video back and subscribe, right? I only have like 170 subscribers. So I don't know, for me, that just was a big deal for me. It was kind of that little like kick I needed or that little, I guess, gratification I needed to get hyped again about making videos to see that, oh, people actually enjoyed some of this video. It just got me excited again to put out another video. I just want to thank anybody who liked that video. If you didn't watch the whole thing, but you watched it, you just tuned in and definitely anybody who subscribed. So, but if you enjoyed this one, make sure you sub up because Next Defiance coming out in two days and I'll be streaming it, putting out videos, shorts, TikToks. Bear with me. I'm still getting used to being, to get into the swing of things again, but I'm not as, as punctual as punctual as I want to be when certain updates hit the timeline or whatever, but we gonna get there. We gonna get there together. I thank anybody who's, you know, coming along on this journey with me. I really appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching leave a like subscribe make sure you follow me on kick and tiktok we're gonna be live on both platforms on when x drops on tuesday may 21st i'll see you then later